is part of the demonstration of our roadway dust course is to show the volatility of coal dust. As you can see, we've got some beautiful coal dust there. The amount of coal dust that is required to actually make a very large noise and explosion is not as much as you would believe. If we've got here a little, little bit of coal dust, we just sprinkle it into our Hartman apparatus here, which is used to show the effects of what can happen if coal dust can accumulate and you get the right cherries line up with a spark and what can create into an explosion. If we close off our Hartman apparatus here, okay, we need to have a top on to keep the dust inside so we can get the coal dust into suspension once it gets into suspension and, and it can happen anywhere underground on transformers, it can happen around belt conveyors, we need some pressure relief holes. Coal dust explosion just doesn't have to come from methane, it can come from anything that can create the right atmosphere with the right dust put into suspension and the right sparks required. So we attach our, our electrodes to our spark sparker and we start the sparks up so we've got, we've got one line of the cherry. Two, we need some compressed air or some type of foot pressure force which comes from a methane explosion to allow the dust to get into the atmosphere. Once it gets into the atmosphere, then you get a spark. Then you get all the cherries lining up. So if we've got the spark and we've got the air, as you can see, the impact of a little bit of coal dust can have a massive impact if there's a lot of coal dust and it can be very catastrophic. So that's a quick demonstration on the effects of coal dust. Thank you.